All right, we are going to be talking about skills that scientists must have in order to be successful. So we're gonna draw something called a concept web. And if you haven't done this before, here's how you do it. We're going to write in the middle, scientists must have these skills. And we're gonna draw arrows from around there. They have to be able to collect evidence. They have to be able to experiment. They have to be able to collect accurate data because if the data isn't accurate, why are they doing their experiment? They have to be able to communicate well. They have to persevere, never give up. Things will not always work out the first time, especially in science. They have to be able to use tools, which we'll learn about later in this chapter. They have to be able to observe and take notes on what they see. They have to know what to observe. They have to know how to measure using different tools. There's a lot of studying going on even after they go to school. They have to sort through what they need, what they don't need, what's relevant, what's not relevant using models to show what they learned or what they found in their experiments. They have to be able to compare and contrast. How is this similar to what I've done in the past? How is this different? What is new? They have to be able to infer, take what they already know and put it together with stuff that they just found out. They have to be able to classify put things in groups. They have to be able to problem solve. These are just a few skills that a scientist must have in order to be successful. I'm going to have you pause now and make sure that you copy it all down. Now, in the discussion, I would like you to comment what is another skill that I did not comment or write on here that you think a scientist must have. <laughs> 